All right, so you'd like to start your own Stardew Valley randomizer using Archipelago. First, take a look at the written guide down here, or you could just follow the links I have in my description, but start with the link to the written guide. It'll take you to Archipelago's website. The first thing you will need is smappy. Click on the link right here. It'll take you to smappy's page. Click on the download button here. You can download directly from smappy's website. You're gonna go to your downloads, extract the zip file, once it's done extracting, you have this folder right here. You can open it, click on the proper install file. I'll click on the Windows one. I recommend just typing in one, pressing enter. It'll just do the default settings. Click one again, enter. After that, smappy has been installed, so you can close this window right here. Now, while you're still in your file explorer, you'll want to navigate to your Stardew Valley folder. So for most, it'll probably be on your C drive, program files, 86, then Steam, Steam apps, common, and you're going to find Stardew Valley under your list of games here. This is your Stardew Valley folder. Scroll down until you find Stardew modding API. This is how you actually launch smappy. So you're going to want to right click this and press create shortcut. And you can take this shortcut and move it to your desktop. And don't close this folder yet. We'll need to come back to this. All right, go back to your setup guide. Now we're going to actually download the randomizer mod. Click on this link right here, mod release 3.x.x. This will take you to the GitHub page of all of the releases of the mod. Currently, randomizer 4.x is in pre-release, so make sure you grab the one that says latest, which is indicated by this green latest icon. Look under assets, click on the zip, and it will automatically download. You can go back to your downloads folder, extract this one, and this folder right here called Stardew Archipelago is the actual mod. You can right click, cut, and then we're going to go back to our other folder we had open which is the Stardew Valley folder. Now at the top here, you'll see mods. Again, this is the file path you need to take. Click on mods, and all you need to do is right click, paste, and your Stardew Archipelago mod is in here now. We can go back to the setup guide page here, and to actually set up your randomizer settings, you will need to click on the Stardew Valley player settings page. Again, I have all of these linked in the video description as well if that's easier. You'll want to type your name here. For example, I'll type cap. If you want, you can look at what each of the settings do by hovering over the question mark icon. But if it's your first time, I recommend keeping everything the same. And all you have to do is click generate game. Now Archipelago has finished generating a seed. So all you have to do here is create new room. Click on that. There you go. Archipelago is now hosting your game. You'll want to pay attention to this line up here, archipelago.gg colon and then your port number. This port number is very important. You can go ahead and copy this right now. This is how we'll actually connect to our game. We're gonna go back to our file explorer, back to the Stardew Valley page. If you did make a shortcut to smappy, you can just use your shortcut that we put on the desktop. But if not, just click Stardew Modding API right here. Stardew Valley will launch as usual. Once you're at the title screen, click New. You'll know you have smappy and the mod working if you see server and slot options here. You can put your name as whatever you would like to. Same with farm name and your favorite thing. Now, that important number, the port number, we have to put right here in server. So you can just paste that number, control V, or you can type it out. This was my number here. Under slot, this is what you actually named yourself on the settings page. In my case, it was cap. And just to clarify, this is the name you put in right here. It has to match exactly. And then we made our room without a password, so we can just press OK. And our game will start to load. If you press skip intro, it'll skip this, but you could just press escape to skip over as well. Okay, and now our game has loaded. You'll know it's working if you see connected to Archipelago as your name right here. You can press T and then explanation mark help for a list of archipelago commands, and then double exclamation mark help for a list of stardew randomizer commands. All right, one last thing, go back to the room page. Make sure you save this link right here. 
The link to your room page is needed in order to keep your game hosted. You can either keep the tab open or just store the link somewhere. And if you're in the middle of a game, all you need to do is exit to title. Your game will be paused. Just make sure you reload the Archipelago website if you're hosting it from there. And then to resume your game, all you need to do is press load and load in your game as normal. And then you can double check that it says connected to Archipelago down here and you should be good to resume. And the room also comes with a handy tracker that you can click on right here and you can see what you haven't checked or have checked here. All right, I hope that was helpful. I hope I covered everything. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Also feel free to navigate over to my Discord where I'll be happy to answer questions there as well. And of course, Archipelago has way more than just Stardew, and it also has multi-world features. So if you're interested in that, definitely explore Archipelago's website or even check out Archipelago's Discord, where I'm sure people will be happy to help you out there. Again, I hope this was really helpful, and I hope you enjoy your randomizer.